used to do is always playing around too much. How about that? Ah, uh, now you gotta cut it. Now you gotta cut it. Are right, you ready for real this time? Mm hmm. Are right, you recording? What's up, y'all? I'm gonna show y'all what we got going on today. Just a couple little odd and ends. And we're still picking away at uh, Mike's Mustang. Uh, we'll show you the uh, two door Chevy here. It's getting a new uh, windshield wiper system. This is it here. I've been doing a little studying this morning on the instructions and the wiring harness. So I'm about ready to install the harness. Apparently the instructions say it's nearly impossible to put in after the, the motor and the wiper assembly has been put in. So we got to install the harness first, which I hate wiring. Everybody knows that. So uh, we'll get that going. Bobby's working on the uh, Trans Am too, the Mandy car. Check out that motor. Real nice car. He's uh, doing window regulators, I believe. Ain't that right, Bobby? Yep. Window regulators and uh, some door panel pieces here that the customer brought a couple weeks ago. Uh, so we got the uh, old F100, the green one, with the Chevy motor in it. It's leaking the head gasket. I believe Jim said the customer wants to go ahead and do that, so we'll have some of that footage coming up. Uh, Robert's uh, Corvette. Uh, I don't know if Jim talked to Robert yet about that, but I'm sure we'll go ahead and do it too. Uh, that was the uh, heater core leak, coolant from the heater box. What else we got, Austin? Um, that it? Yeah, it's pretty hot today. So, we'll try to keep these fans running. Austin's gonna be mad at us. Cause we're gonna be hot and grumpy. Grumpy all the time. I bet that was loud, wasn't it? We're gonna get some complaints. You don't think so? I'm sure we will. We're gonna get complaints anyway, but I'll do that. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Yeah, that's what we that's what we got going on today. Hold on, I'll show you a little more on this since I'm doing it. Let me see that. Cut that light on on it. Uh, so one of the good things, one of the good things about this little job here is uh, I don't have to remove anything. Every, everything's been removed. So all I have to do is take off that little plate here and take uh. Uh, that bolt out right here, and there's another one on the other side. Those are the hood hinge bolts. That's your hood hinge. And uh, we'll get that wiring harness up in there and get her taken care of. Let me cut that light off. Now. That's it. That's what we're doing today. Nothing too too fancy. Or entertaining. Still wait, waiting on parts on the challenge. That rear uh, axle bearing. That kit takes a certain bearing. I think Jim explained that in another video if you want to go back and check it out. But that's it. Cut. All right, today uh, we're working on the Trans Am. We're putting in new windows taking the regulators out and pulling all the tracks out and cleaning everything up, uh, putting on new rollers if they need it. Uh, but I'm about to tear this door apart, pull the glass out and all that track, like I said. So if you want to record it, you can. If you don't, don't. All right.
Oh, you filming? Right. Look on this window. Put it uh, around there beside that uh, forklift. Got all the track out. Now I'm taking out the regulator. I 
and I promise it will come out like this. So I promise it will come out like this. All right, y'all. Y'all seen? Uh, y'all seen what? Uh, what all we had to install on this? Uh, on this uh, 53 Chevy. Well, we kind of hit a wall, like Jim always says: expect the unexpected. So, this car, when we got it, it had nothing. Uh, like I showed y'all earlier under the dash there's nothing under there. there's no original pieces to the uh, wipers or anything so I got to mounting the piece in there the uh, motor and the, the drive unit and uh, and I realized something's not right here and it was really bothering me so I couldn't there's just a square hole in the thing you know I ain't never worked on these old cars before uh, called the technical support line. The guy said we gotta have these. Uh... <laughs> how you how you pronounce this? The nuts right there to screw on. Inch inch. Inch inch. Almost. <laughs> I'll just show you what the word said. <laughs> but anyways, it's like a nut that screws on right here. And then this goes on on top of that nut. But it's like a chrome bezel piece or something. But we don't have any, and apparently they don't exist. We can't buy them. So our little machine shop buddy next door is going to see if he can make us some. And uh, once we get those, we can finish this. But I talked to the guy that invented this, the owner of the company. He said that we got to have them. So that's one of the main supports what holds it all together, keeps it from moving around, wobbling. So, yeah, that's where we're at with this. But once we get those, this thing can go together quick. It's just a switch, wire up the switch, mount the switch, wire up the switch. Connect these two rods here from one side of the other to the dash, and that's pretty much it. And uh, of course, uh, the kit doesn't come with the arms or wiper blades, so we'll have to get some of those let it work but uh yeah a little buddy's supposed to be over this evening to, to, to look at it and we'll go from there so, and we're waiting on rivets for the trans am to put it back together and a few other little pieces too so i told you about the window regulators and the glass and everything that was getting replaced in the uh, door panels but uh I didn't mention anything about some duct work that goes under the dashes that's missing. But uh, I figured it out, kind of. Uh, I need some weather stripping for a few pieces, and we got to figure out a bunch of vacuum lines that are just hanging down there. And I uh, had to figure out where they all go. And we got to change these door handles. Door we'll handles. black door handles in. I guess I should do. So we're waiting on Jim to get back from uh, Parts House to get me some weather stripping for that duct work and I can get it installed. And then uh, I think he's going to grab some rivets or something too, ain't he, Bob? If he can get some. They're odd size, some. though. 1964. Oh, really? Uh, but that's where we're at today. Just some little boring stuff going on. Like Jim says, man, expect the unexpected. You never know what you're going to run into in these old cars. You never know what somebody's already done to them, rigged up on them, and, or just didn't put back on them. Like the, the car there doesn't have any wiper component on it whatsoever. So you just got to roll with the punches, I guess. But that's what we do. Cut off.
Thank you.